right, morning, y'all. Uh, good morning. It's like 3.25 here. All right, Chef Martin, uh, the Naked Tex-Mex Chef. Uh, this morning, when I'm going later tonight, this afternoon, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make some beef fajitas. So right now, I'm going to go through the process of marinating my fajitas, okay? Uh, some of the ingredients I'm going to use, I'm going to use some lime juice, Worcestershire sauce, uh, some olive oil, garlic powder, some red chili, and then I got my salt and my peppers, okay? The rest, I'm just going to let them put it all together and just let it sit and for a couple of hours and let it marinate, okay? I'm going to post this on my website. It'll be on uh, the nakedtexmexchef.com. I'll also post it on chefmartinfoodblogger.com. All right, cool. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, I'm going to take a third cup of uh, lemon juice. Local bought, uh, I used to say lemon juice, okay. Or lime juice, lime juice. Take a look, a third cup. This is where this little shaker comes in play. I'm, I'm glad I bought this a while back. It's even got the readings on the side. It's pretty cool. Dad, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of water just in case. And there we go, we got that. Next, it's asking for two tablespoons of Worcestershire. So like I told you, I go with what I have on hand. This, these are the software we get from the mess hall, so I'm gonna use these. So this, my little spoon here, my tablespoon. And I want two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. So real quick, just get the sauce out. Two tablespoons. Bam. Bam. That's about close. That's close enough right there. What up? Next, I'm gonna put three tablespoons of my my uh, gar I mean of my virgin extra virgin olive oil, also local. local. Again, everything is Iraqi or Iraq. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get three tablespoons of this. Next, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use one tablespoon of garlic powder. Yeah, that's pretty close to one tablespoon. And then next, I'm gonna use my chili powder. Uh, I'm gonna use two, two teaspoons of chili powder. And then <coughs> one teaspoon of the flakes. And that's the big difference. Those are your chili flakes. What I mean, that way y'all can see it up close. And here's the thing that I use. Every, again, everything's local. Throw that in there. And then the last thing I should be using is my, I'm gonna use my salt, my pepper. Uh, half a teaspoon each. Got my pepper ready. What up? And then again, local ingredient, I'm gonna use a pack of mustard. And I'm gonna throw that in there. Okay, this could get this from the mess hall. Done. We're set. We got everything in here. Switch it around for a little bit. Break out the meat. The meat I cut, I, I, I sliced up yesterday. This is more than a half a a pound and a half. This is about three pounds. 
So I'm gonna have to make another one of these after I shut y'all off, after I shut off the, the cameras. I may not, it looks like it's going in. Just mess it around for a little bit. Oh yeah, I can smell it. And that should be about it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a little bit more of these red, the red flakes. Just a little bit more. See how much is a little bit? Not a whole lot. I see you easy. There you go, everything's set from Tomorrow, then I'll just let it sit in the refrigerator and we're done. All right, that's simple. Very simple to make uh, my beef I keep them, them to marinate them in. Okay. All right, y'all have a great day. Uh, have a great weekend. Happy Father's Day. I'll see y'all later. All right. Adios.